Hello there. Today we talk about the book Irresistible, The Rise of Addictive Technology and the Business of Keeping Us Hooked by Adam Alter. Watch the video until the end to learn how addicted we are to our devices, how technology addiction affects our relationships, and how to manage it in a healthier way. Learning 1. Smartphone addiction and drug addiction share some shocking similarities. You most likely think of drugs or alcohol abuse when I say the word addiction. However, scientists are now finding that some activities we engage in on a daily basis can have the similar effects on the brain as those more severe addictions we're familiar with. As a result of all of these habitual actions, dopamine is released. In the brain, this is a signal of intense pleasure. Nevertheless, each time we perform this action, we get less enjoyment from it. Whenever you scroll endlessly through social media, you're constantly looking for more pleasure. Swiping up to see more of your feed diminishes the dopamine release. In other words, you become addicted to a habit. The negative effects of this are prevalent, even if they are not readily apparent. One example is poor sleep. Our bodies are signaled by our phones that it's time to wake up, so we stay awake. Using them in bed indicates to our minds that bed is not a place to fall asleep, but a place to be conscious. There is, however, some good news to report. Although technology addictions are similar to drug addictions, they are easier to break because they are less intense. Our connectedness harms us in another way, which we explore in Lesson 3. Learning 2. Silencing notifications will increase your productivity. My phone just notified me of an email while I was writing the summary. I quickly opened it to see what it was and answered it. It didn't take me long to realize that 10 minutes had passed. Without this lesson, I might not have been able to get back to work so quickly. According to research, 70% of emails are read within 6 seconds. This might seem like we're being extremely productive, but it's actually the opposite. We have to stop whenever we receive an email, just as I did while writing this summary. According to estimates, it takes us 25 minutes to get back to deep work after a distraction. Employees who check their email 25 times a day will never be able to focus completely. When we check email so quickly, we feel good because it gives us a small win, but the cost is much higher than anyone realizes. Your phone and computer should be turned off from receiving email notifications. Schedule a specific time for checking and responding to emails. The benefits of not checking email for a long period of time have been documented in one study. They walk, interact with co-workers in person, and spend more time outside. Additionally, the researchers found that by checking email less frequently, they were more actually productive during longer focus sessions. Learning 3. Changing a bad habit into a good one is much easier than quitting cold turkey. If you're trying to kick a bad habit, think of what it is. Have you tried snuffing it out more than once? Cold turkey is an ineffective method of breaking habits. We usually end up relapsing and feeling frustrated as a result. However, there is a better way. Consider substituting a good habit for an addiction instead of trying to rid yourself of it completely. According to Charles Duhigg in his book, The Power of Habit, the habit loop can be divided into three parts. Number one, cue. Number two, routine. Number three, reward. When you suck him to your smartphone addiction, each of these factors is present. When you take out your phone, it's a cue. Then you open a social media app in your normal routine, and then you get likes and feel connected once you do it. The good news is that you'll be able to break this pattern completely and reap the benefits of it. To improve your relationship with technology, replace the routine part of the habit loop with something new. Try picking up a book instead of picking up your phone. Practicing this daily will improve your relationships, mental health and fitness. Who would I recommend the book Irresistible to? If you're a 31-year-old World of Warcraft player and wonder why you're always unhappy, if you're a 54-year-old who can't put down their phone when your kids are around, and if you think that you're the exception, you're not. Thanks for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. For a more detailed summary, check out Blinkist in the description below. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.